ah, coffee, the lifeblood of countless mornings and the fuel for late-night study sessions. But have you ever wondered how your daily cup of joe actually affects your brain? Is it a true brain booster or just a temporary energy fix? In this video, we're diving into the fascinating world of coffee and brain health. We'll explore how coffee's unique blend of chemicals can enhance your mood, sharpen your focus, and even potentially protect your brain from long-term diseases. Of course, we'll also take a balanced look at coffee's potential downsides, discussing the importance of moderation and the possible side effects of overconsumption. So, grab your favorite mug, settle in, and let's unravel the science behind coffee's impact on your most vital organ, the brain. 1. Coffee's Effect on Alertness and Mood Let's dive into the science behind that familiar energy boost you get from your morning cup of coffee. Coffee's primary stimulant, caffeine, works by blocking adenosine receptors in your brain. Adenosine is a neurotransmitter that promotes sleep and suppresses arousal, so by inhibiting its action, caffeine increases alertness and reduces tiredness. As Nalig noted in 2010 in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease, this can lead to significant improvements in attention, focus, and reaction time. But coffee's benefits go beyond just keeping you awake. Caffeine also triggers the release of dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with pleasure, motivation, and reward. Al-Salami and others, in their 2018 review in Frontiers in Psychiatry, highlighted studies showing that this dopamine boost can lead to improved mood, increased energy, and even potential reductions in symptoms of depression and anxiety. Two, coffee's potential to protect against neurodegenerative diseases. Now, let's explore some of the long-term brain benefits linked to coffee consumption. Interestingly, Research suggests that regular coffee drinking may offer some protection against neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. While the exact mechanisms are still under investigation, it's thought that coffee's antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties play a role. Some studies have even found an association between coffee consumption and a reduced risk of developing these diseases. Three, the optimal amount of coffee and potential downsides. So how much coffee is the right amount to reap these benefits? Research suggests that moderate coffee consumption, typically defined as three to five cups per day, is associated with the most significant health benefits. However, everyone's tolerance to caffeine is different and it's essential to listen to your body. Of course, it's crucial to acknowledge that excessive caffeine intake can have downsides. Too much coffee can lead to jitters, anxiety, insomnia, and even digestive problems. Therefore, it's essential to find your sweet spot and enjoy coffee in moderation as part of a balanced and healthy lifestyle. Four, how coffee reduces adenosine production. Ever wondered why you feel tired after a long day? A neurotransmitter called adenosine plays a significant role. Adenosine gradually builds up in your brain throughout the day, binding to specific receptors and slowing down nerve cell activity. This slowdown makes you feel drowsy and signals it's time to rest. Enter coffee, the beloved morning beverage for many. Coffee's secret weapon is caffeine, a natural stimulant that closely resembles adenosine in its molecular structure. When you drink coffee, caffeine rushes to your brain and competes with adenosine for those same receptors. The twist? Caffeine wins this battle, blocking adenosine from binding and thus preventing the slowdown of nerve cell activity. By outsmarting adenosine, caffeine not only keeps you awake, but also enhances your focus and alertness. It's like giving your brain a gentle nudge to stay active and engaged. This is why coffee is a go-to for many when they need to power through work, study, or any task requiring sustained attention. Five, boosting dopamine levels. 
Coffee's mood-enhancing effects don't stop at blocking adenosine. It also interacts with another crucial player in your brain, dopamine, often called the feel-good neurotransmitter. Dopamine plays a pivotal role in motivation, reward, and feelings of pleasure. Caffeine's clever trick is to hinder the reabsorption of dopamine in your brain. This means more dopamine molecules remain available to stimulate those reward pathways, leading to a heightened sense of well-being and happiness. In essence, coffee prolongs the feel-good effects of dopamine, giving you a sustained boost in mood. This is why coffee drinkers often report feeling happier, more energized, and motivated after their cup of joe. It's not just the caffeine keeping you awake, it's also the dopamine boost enhancing your mood. As Al Salami and others discussed in their 2018 review, this dopamine effect can contribute to coffee's potential to alleviate symptoms of depression and anxiety, although further research is needed to fully understand these connections. Six, coffee and depression, a surprisingly positive link. Beyond boosting alertness and mood, coffee's potential impact on mental health has garnered significant attention in recent years. Numerous studies have explored the relationship between coffee consumption and depression, often finding a positive correlation. Al-Salami and others in their 2018 review highlighted research suggesting that regular coffee drinkers may experience a reduced risk of developing depression. But how does this connection work? Remember how we discussed caffeine's dual action on adenosine and dopamine? Well, it turns out that these effects could play a role in coffee's potential antidepressant properties. By blocking adenosine, coffee can increase alertness and reduce fatigue, both of which are common symptoms of depression. And by boosting dopamine, it can enhance mood and motivation, potentially counteracting the feelings of sadness and apathy associated with depression. Specific studies have further solidified this link. For instance, a large-scale analysis of multiple studies published in 2016 found that caffeine intake, particularly through coffee, was associated with a significantly decreased risk of depression. Another study in 2019 even observed a reduced risk of suicidal ideation in women who consumed one to four cups of coffee per day. While more research is needed to fully understand the mechanisms at play, these findings offer promising insights into coffee's potential role in supporting mental health. 7. Coffee's Protective Effects Against Parkinson's and Alzheimer's The potential brain benefits of coffee extend beyond mood and focus enhancement. There's growing evidence suggesting that this popular beverage might offer a degree of protection against neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. While the exact mechanisms are still under investigation, several factors are thought to contribute to coffee's potential neuroprotective effects. First, coffee is a rich source of antioxidants, which are compounds that help neutralize harmful free radicals in the body. Free radicals can damage cells and contribute to the development of various diseases, including neurodegenerative ones. By scavenging these free radicals, Coffee's antioxidants may help protect brain cells from oxidative stress. Second, coffee contains bioactive compounds like caffeine and chlorogenic acid, which have been shown to have anti-inflammatory properties. Chronic inflammation is believed to play a role in the development and progression of neurodegenerative diseases. By reducing inflammation, coffee may help slow down or even prevent the damage to brain cells. Furthermore, Caffeine's impact on adenosine and dopamine pathways, as we discussed earlier, may also contribute to these protective effects. Some research suggests that caffeine's ability to block adenosine receptors may help prevent the buildup of amyloid plaques in the brain, a hallmark of Alzheimer's disease. Additionally, caffeine's influence on dopamine levels may help protect against the loss of dopamine-producing neurons, a key feature of Parkinson's disease. While more research is needed to fully understand the complex interactions between coffee and neurodegenerative diseases, the existing evidence paints a promising picture. Regular coffee consumption, as part of a healthy lifestyle, 
may offer a simple and enjoyable way to support brain health and potentially reduce the risk of developing these debilitating conditions. Eight, optimal coffee consumption, finding the balance. While coffee offers an array of potential benefits, it's important to remember that moderation is key. The optimal amount of coffee can vary depending on individual tolerance and sensitivity to caffeine. However, most health organizations and research suggest that moderate coffee consumption, typically defined as three to five cups per day, is associated with the most significant health benefits and the lowest risk of adverse effects. It's crucial to be mindful of your body's signals and adjust your coffee intake accordingly. Excessive caffeine consumption can lead to a range of unwanted side effects, including jitters, anxiety, headaches, insomnia, and even digestive problems. If you experience any of these symptoms, it's a sign that you may need to cut back on your coffee intake. Finding the right balance is key to enjoying coffee's positive effects without experiencing its downsides. Pay attention to how your body reacts to different amounts of coffee and adjust your consumption accordingly. Consider factors like your age, weight, and overall health when determining your optimal intake. If you have any concerns, consult with a healthcare professional for personalized advice. Nine, potential side effects of coffee. While coffee offers an array of enticing benefits, it's important to acknowledge that, like any substance, it can have downsides, especially when consumed in excess. Too much coffee can lead to a range of unpleasant side effects, some more common than others. Heartburn, jitters, and increased anxiety are among the most frequently reported issues. Caffeine can relax the lower esophageal sphincter, allowing stomach acid to rise and cause that burning sensation known as heartburn. Meanwhile, excessive caffeine can overstimulate your nervous system, leading to jitters and feelings of restlessness or anxiety. If you experience any of these side effects, it's a clear sign that you might need to adjust your coffee habits. Gradual reduction is often the best approach to avoid withdrawal symptoms like headaches and fatigue. Consider cutting back on your daily cups, switching to decaf options for some of your brews, or opting for smaller serving sizes. Remember, moderation is key to enjoying coffee's benefits without experiencing its drawbacks. By listening to your body and finding your ideal intake, you can continue to savor your morning cup while prioritizing your overall well-being. So there you have it the fascinating ways in which your morning cup of coffee can impact your brain. From enhancing alertness and focus to potentially protecting against neurodegenerative diseases, coffee offers a surprising array of brain benefits. Remember, the key is moderation. While coffee can be a valuable addition to a healthy lifestyle, overdoing it can lead to unwanted side effects. Listen to your body, find your sweet spot, and savor your coffee mindfully. As research continues to uncover the complexities of coffee's effects on the brain, one thing is clear. This beloved beverage is more than just a caffeine fix. It's a potential ally in supporting brain health and overall well-being. So go ahead, enjoy your next cup of coffee, knowing that it's not only a delicious treat, but also a potential brain booster.